Right oh, no, we've got a pretty epic size 3D print here. We've done it in three sections. This involves a couple of chambers. Put something for reference. So it's a rather large print. And we've got part of the lid section here. And another lid section here that's been done in two pieces. So this is done on the Dimension Elite printer. And then what we have here is a garbage bin on top of a hot plate. We've got acetone. And you can see the acetone vapour there. So we're going to treat this with acetone vapour just to finish it off. So here goes nothing. We'll see how it goes. I'll pop that onto there without touching any edges or anything. We'll wait for that to smooth over. So all these sections are being connected together with acetone. So the joins are probably as strong or stronger than the original ABS material itself. And fairly quickly we'll start to see that start to smooth over. We'll come back in a second and see how that goes. So we're doing one end at a time here. So, so far, I'm getting a nice sheen on this. It's not super duper perfect, but it's pretty good. We'll get that other end finished off. We may or may not put it through again. vapor cloud starting to drop because the acetone level is decreasing down there so you can see that ring around the side of the bin but there's still enough there to complete this job I think hopefully yeah I can see a little bit of wetting down there where it's the acetone is taking effect. So I'll keep that going and just for another minute or so and see what it looks like. Okay, we've got an end result now and it's better than how it came out of the printer. It's not super duper perfect, but hey, it's shiny, it's nice. not too bad at all. And over here we've got the uh, the lid sections catching the light there a little bit. It's not perfectly smooth but it's quite nice for a 3D print job. Once we get the stainless steel screws into this thing with the lid on it will come together quite nicely. It will paint a very nice picture. And that acetone, uh, the time it takes to dry for touch dry, you're probably looking at, um, I don't know, anywhere up to 30 minutes. But to give it a, a decent amount of time to become uh, hard so that you can grab onto it, I'd probably recommend leaving that overnight. So the rubbish tin idea definitely worked. That's just a little hot plate that we used underneath the rubbish tin. Normally we use a large beaker, but obviously that wasn't anywhere near big enough for this job. We'll just grab that one. Where is it? It's in one of these cupboards, there it is. So that's the beaker we normally use. And it's huge. So you can see it's four litres plus. Probably five litres. And for smaller jobs we've just got the smaller one. So that's all there is to it for the acetone vapour process. Um, quite a simple process to do, reasonably safe. It can end up with a fire, but usually only if you've got an open flame there. And if it does catch on fire, it's very easy to put, put out. Just look around on YouTube for um, where people have actually tested that. So, that's it for now. And uh, we'll catch you next time.